Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well or if this is the first time you're seeing me then hi. My name is Kate and I make videos about parenting, lifestyle, fashion, beauty, cleaning, organisation, you name it. I probably make a video about it so I really hope you enjoy this video and you stick around. If you'd like to watch more then please go and click the subscribe button. It's just down there to see more videos from me. So by now you've probably heard about Mrs Hinch but if you haven't I will quickly just fill you in. So about a week or so ago Ago, one of my friends on Instagram put up a story about her and saying how obsessed she was with her so I went onto her Instagram account and had a quick look well I say a quick look I started watching her and I was like okay what's this about she names all her cloths and she loves cleaning like loves cleaning and yeah all her cloths have got names and her products she names them all and but the more I watched her I was just like sucked in and she's fascinating she's absolutely fascinating and i don't know what it is about her but she's just so likable she's really funny she makes cleaning enjoyable and she's she gives you this weird motivation to think i need to clean my house i need to name all my cloths put my sink to bed and fill up spray bottles with fabric softener and water to spray all of my soft furnishings right now as a lot of you guys know we've recently moved house and we've had a lot of building work and i really needed to get some new cleaning products and she has like certain products that she absolutely raves about. One being her Minke, which is a sponge. And she has literally sold out the UK of this sponge to the point where I'm going into shops as to Poundland. Where else have I been? B&M, Home Bargains. Every single time I go in there, girls are in the aisles talking about her. I've literally never seen somebody blow up so quick. She got like a hundred thousand followers in two days. So I just want to say like good on her. I think she's incredible. I can see her having like a segment on this morning or something. Um, I can see her having her own sort of like cleaning show the rate she's going. So I'll link to her below anyway because honestly once you watch her you won't be able to stop. It's very addictive. So I have gone a little bit crazy. I have been to every shop that sells cleaning products probably within a 20 mile radius of my house. I still can't find everything that she uses which is annoying me. <laughs> but I wanted to share with you what I got today and hope you enjoy it. I know a cleaning haul is not going to be for everyone but we all seem to love it don't we? So I'm going to show you the bits I got. Stuff that I just love and have used for years and stuff that she's introduced me to. So let's just get straight into it. So one of her favourite things and I'm so glad I found these are the Spontex microfiber um, cloths. These are her buddies. <laughs> There's two in there, a yellow and a blue. I think they were one or two pounds. Where did I find these in the end? I think I found them in Asda. Um, so I got hold of a pack of these, so there's two in there, and they're just really good for like buff buffing up sinks and surfaces and making them look shiny. I also found the Stiff Stainless Steel Spray. Um, so we don't actually have a stainless steel stink sink now, we did up until like two weeks ago and now we've moved, we've got a ceramic one. Um, but this is going to be great for um, our heated uh, bathroom radiator towel rail things and just any other stainless steel that we have around the house and obviously like the taps and stuff so I, I thought I'd get that I think it was from the pound from pound land world where is it I've lost all like I've lost all sense of control of my life so I found this I don't think I've ever used anything from the Astonish brand before but this is the Octi Oxy Active Fabric Stain Remover. You just put a scoopful in with your wash. Obviously, I've used stain removers and stuff like that before, but not this brand. And she raves about it, so I thought I'd try it. I think it was a pound for this size from Poundland. Then I found the Duck Fresh Disc. So these are in the marine scent, and they're the ones that you kind of... Uh, it's got like a little device that you just press it down onto the toilet and it sticks on so i got them i think again they were two pounds um i also got this cloth which i think she uses something quite similar um this is just a dish cloth basically but it's good for seeing what dirt like it brings up you can see the dirt on it basically so i got that for a, about a pound i got the flash bathroom with febreze this is one of the favorite things I have also used this for a long time and it is a really good product. We use this all the time to clean our bathroom. We've nearly run out of our last one so I thought I would just get a new one. I think it's a pound, it might be two but I picked it up anyway because it's just an old favourite. 
Then we also got the Astonish Daily Shower Shine. If you saw my one of my previous videos, which was our bathroom reveal, you know you've got quite a big shower now, and we want to keep it looking nice. So this is just something good to spray in there daily. What have we got here? Oh, Ricky picked these up. I think I've got him into it as well, you know, guys. He keeps asking me about minkers and pinkers and all sorts. Um, he got some glass wipes, so these are just to do over the windows, and I just thought they'd be really handy to have. So yeah, they're for mirrors and windows, so just really good, quick and handy to just wipe over mirrors and windows, and they were a pound. I also got one of these baskets, there was only one left in Poundland, so that's probably why. Um, I've used these for years, I've got quite a few of them, but I did think it would be good to put this under the sink. Um, to put cleaning products in. Oh, I also got this, uh, which is the e-cover uh, washing up liquid. So this is more of a natural, um, like eco-friendly product. A lot of this stuff does have chemicals in, of course, they're cleaning products. I do try and like to get a balance. I like to use Method quite a lot, um, but I do use stronger stuff as well because it just works so well. But anyway, the main reason I got this was to put in my new soap dispenser for the kitchen because it's clear. So I didn't want to make it look like a weird colour. That's how into this I've got, guys. You know I love my cleaning, but wow, I'm really into it now. So I got another Zaflora. My favourite scent is Twilight Garden. I love this. I found it in Asda. It's sometimes a bit harder to find this one, um, but it's one of my favourites, along with I love Linen Fresh as well and a few others, but I got another one of those. And then... I found some minkies. <laughs> Didn't really. I didn't really do anything. Did I'm away. Can you please? Oh, you're, I'm, I am running out. Plant. I'm running out of memory. Oh, yeah, me and all. So I got two of these brushes. They're good for dishes. Obviously, they're also good for bottles. They were from B&M, and they were two ninety nine for two. I also found in Home Base because I'm always in Home Base and B&Q some Minky products. <laughs> they are. I think these are like the pinky ones that she uses. They're like, you know, the thick sponges. My nan has used these for years and they're always around my house now because she's been cleaning it whilst it's been been being re renovated. But anyway, they're not actually pink, but it doesn't matter apparently. And then two cellulose scourers. Basically, they have the sponge on one side and a scourer on the other side. Um, again, I'm not sure how much they were, but they were just a pound or two each. And I just thought they'd be really, really handy to have. And then in B&M, I found these, which I think a lot of people are picking up because they look like the Minky, the famous Minky, um, but they're not. I don't think Mrs. Hinch recommends these. Um, they're scrubby on one side and then like a cloth on the other. They're actually really good. We were using them in the kitchen last night. I'm like, they're pretty good. Um, they were $1.99 from B&M. Um, I'm looking forward to trying the real deal when they come back in stock. But I quite liked these actually. So there's a pack of three. We're already using one. So I picked them up. And then this I just thought I would show you. I already had it. But it's my spray bottle. Because I do the same thing. I put the flora and water in a spray bottle. This was from Wilkinson's I think. But I'm struggling to find spray bottles at the moment. I do need to get another one to put some Lenore in. <laughs> with water i also had this which i don't know if you can see the bottle is gross the the can we've had this for so long but i thought i'd include it because i just found it again and i'm so glad i did because i can't find it in any shops it's the 1001 carpet fresh um and it's so good so i've got a fair bit left of that and i'm so glad i rediscovered it so i'm going to start using that one again i got more of these like they look like cheese do you know what I mean? They, they don't look like cheese, but they're like all holy. So there's a pack of four in here from Wilkinson's. They were a pound, I think. And again, they're just like really good um, surface sponges. So you can like use different products on them. They're really good. I also picked up some more Mr. Sheen because I've never seen Mr. Sheen in um, scents before, apart from like their classic polish scent. So they had a few different ones, but this is Magnolia and Cherry Blossom. So... Should I spray something? I must. Hang on. Let me just spray this. Oh. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't sniff it that close because it is polished. Okay, so that still smells very much like what Mr. Sheen smells like. But. What am I doing? But afterwards, it has like a nicer scent. Okay, so yeah, that's quite cool. So I got the hat and I got another dish dish mop. 
I swear these are called Dishmatics. Maybe there's different brands. Anyway, it is the brush that you put washing up liquid into and then you can just keep washing up pots. And yeah, I use these for years. They're really, really good. Really rate them. But I haven't had one for a while, so I got a new one. I also got a lint roller, which um, is really good just to have when we go out of the door. Especially Archie's uniform in the morning. It's all dark. So it gets like lots of lint and hair and stuff stuck to it. So we've got that. And they're always about a pound, aren't they? And then I got some Foam Aroma by Blue. I love this stuff. But again, you just don't always think to pick up these things. I think it was about two pounds and sometimes you know you're just like oh no i won't get that this week but i just got it because it smells so good this is the ocean mist the pink one's really nice too but i grabbed that oh i got a pledge fluffy duster which is something that mrs hinch recommends i think she calls it dave um so yeah i haven't had one of these before so i'm really excited to use that it comes with the like, duster stick and two fluffy duster brushes um so yeah i've got that oh guys there's still more there's still more i went to uh what is this home bargains which i don't go to that often i was really impressed so in home bargains i found which is a little bit off theme but i'm sure if you love cleaning then you'll love these all of these um cleaning equipment type products anyway so i just thought they were so amazing for the money they were all around the pound upwards mark they just were really inexpensive so this is just a little um microfiber duster and i just loved the color and the wooden part of it i just thought they looked really nice then this is a squeegee great for showers and windows and again they don't have the prices on but they were very expensive got this which is a little dustpan and brush and don't you just think i don't know if it's just me i just think they look so much more expensive than they than just a couple of pounds i was so impressed i also got this little a scrubbing brush and this little scrubbing brush yeah i just got everything in the range basically in dish brush pot brush just how cute are they um and then i also the last thing in the range that i got was this this one was about seven pounds something so the most expensive but again it would be wouldn't it but it's already dirty because at the minute so many people working on the house that if you leave a broom around someone's going to use it so it's being used for its actual intended purpose okay a bit more so i panic bought some vanish because i couldn't find this the other day and then i found it today and it's a pound and vanish is a lot more expensive probably shouldn't have bought both but with the boys and archie coming home from school every day with his lunch all down him these will probably get used up quite quickly so got to vanish as well I found some tumble dryer sheets, which I've never used before, but Mrs. Hinch has some really good uses for them. I'm not sure which one she uses. They might be Comfort. But anyway, they only had Lenore, and this is Summer Breeze. You can smell them through the box, um, and she puts them with Zaflora on them in her pillowcases and stuff. So I'm definitely going to give it a go, because I just think that's such a good idea. And obviously I'll put them in, with the, in the tumble dryer too, obviously. You guys may have heard me talk about these. I actually mentioned them in my recent what to buy if you have £10 to spend in Poundland video. And they're the Magic Erasers. These are the actual branded flash ones. Uh, I'm not sure if they were one or two pounds. The Poundland ones are a pound. Um, but yeah, they're really good. They get crayon off the walls. They get like really bad marks off things that you don't think you'll be able to get off. You just wet them and they take off marks so they're really handy to have i thought i'd pick up spring awakening because this is mrs hinch's favorite and i smell it and i just thought it was really nice but i also got like a cashmere one too and I, i've lost it but anyway i picked up this um it's just really nice really fresh oh. and when i find a spray bottle i'm gonna spray on my furniture with it i got some baskets these are actually from home base i think they were one pound fifty each but they're quite a lot bigger than this so I actually think these would be quite good to front of the sink for the cleaning products. So uh, yeah, I just picked those up in there. Um, and then, slightly off topic, I don't know whether I should show them or not, but I'll just put them at the end. And if you're not really interested, then feel free to click off. But I got some organisational things for around the house. So I needed a folder to put my Hello Fresh recipe cards in because I have hundreds of them. Um, and I just thought this was really good. It was from Wilkinson's, £2. 
really cute design and it's just a big ring binder so I got that some of the recipes have little punched holes in but some don't so I picked up a pack of these these are always handy anyway the uh, plastic A4 pockets I don't know how much they were I think they were like a pound or 50 so I got those I also got this which can't really pass for organization but it's in the same range it is a little like coffee takeaway cup and I just thought Wilkinson's are so good at stationery they always have been like for years but anyway I haven't got one of these and I thought it would be really nice if I ever just want to take out a hot drink with me it says blah 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 on one side it says I woke up sassy on the other side it was four pounds and I just loved the colour and design of it so I picked it up and then I also got last thing this little to-do list um little like notebook really um and it was two pounds they've got some really nice stuff in this print i love that color that's everything that i got still on search for the infamous minke i think it will be back in stock soon as far as she's saying um and also the one thing that i can't get hold of that i really want to get is the pink stuff and star drops products like that's a star drops branded product i can't find it anywhere so i'll keep looking um might have to end up buying it online and giving it a go because the pink stuff is like a paste and apparently it cleans everything so i really want to try that so anyway i really hope you enjoyed this video if you've not heard of mrs hinch you may think i'm crazy i'm just surrounded by piles of cleaning products but there's worse things you could buy isn't there um i really enjoyed this go and give mrs hinch a follow if you haven't heard of her i'm sure you'll be hooked and tell her i said hi and um yeah thank you so much for watching everyone if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future then just give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i'll see you again very soon bye guys <laughs>